The Physical Education Center, the former home of the Communicating Arts Production Group, as well as the entire communication department here at Montgomery County Community College's Bluebell Campus, before it got moved to the Advanced Technology Center a quarter of a mile away from here in 2007. Venture up to the building's second floor and you will still see this communication studio sign, what was once tech services, and even the old offices of Matt Porter and CapG itself. CapG ran the communication department and even started The Buzz, a program that began 20 years ago not as a newscast, but as a news magazine. The board was designed with figuring out how to go ahead and structure the thing, what crews got what assignments, what those assignments could be. All of our stuff was shot on locations and we decided to do different locations each time. We didn't have a studio. We worked out of a little closet where all the equipment was and things have gotten so much better just in the last 14 years. Returning student Amy Lynn Fall was a CAPG member roughly 10 years ago. Our technology was the mini DVR tapes that you had to learn how to like import to your computer that way. I wasn't allowed to edit. It seemed like when I got past the point of anchoring, all the, all the mails took over. I started with CAPG just as they were leaving the PE building and moving here to the ATC. We're looking to put together a professional style newscast. And since I spent 30 years in the news business, I guess he felt I had the qualifications. One thing that has remained the same is a sense of tradition. There was somebody from the CAPG board here every hour of every day. So we had our own office and we worked from it. And I'm starting to see CAPG like I saw it when I was a student. I think CAPG will be known for producing a lot of talented students who made it in the uh, television and broadcasting field. What do they get out of it? And that's immeasurable. I'm Rob Brown, reporting for The Buzz.